guys, so I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video lately. I've been kind of busy uh, working on the loose wind chest, and plus, since really, you know, I haven't really had very much content to do. I feel like if I were to just start cranking out low quality content, that I'd be uh, alienating my current subscriber base, which, as the moment I'm speaking, is at 184 subscribers. So, ye. This uh, circuit board, this PCB, I've gotten the ULN 2003s on there, and well, <laughs> it, it's a uh, headers. I, I soldered the chips on first because um, they would have been harder to solder because the headers would be in the way. These uh, for the shift registers down here, these pads, not too much of a problem. I uh, drag soldered these chips using uh, 6040 lead tin. And uh, this will be the driver for this box right here, which uh, currently I've gotten 16 of the uh, 25 solenoids well, wired up in here uh, using some Cat5 cable. Uh, this is a quarter inch plexiglass, and uh, we'll take a closer look at this. Right now, uh, yeah, there's these. Uh, Little tiny solenoids. If you notice, they might be familiar. It's the same kind I used in my robot hurdy gurdy project. And I just realized this little table is touching the camera, so it's shaking the camera quite a bit. Uh, these little wing nuts, I have the bolts, they're countersunk a little over halfway into. Uh, so the outside, of course, is stained with. Uh, Walnut, dark walnut, if you uh, noticed. A little bit short for words right now. Currently, only this rail has been fastened down, this other one's hanging loose. Let's pop it off here. Uh, have it sealed with some weather stripping. I mean, it doesn't need to be very sealed very well. It's, but it does need some sort of seal. Plus, the weather this weather stripping looks nice anyway. I noticed there's a little bit of a chip while I was drilling the plexiglass. Yeah, the plexiglass is quite brittle. Uh, there is. Don't worry. These little joints are soldered. It's just I was out of electrical tape at the time I soldered them up. I've been going through and uh, replacing those temporary connections with electrical tape. Now, uh, let me get, uh, I found out these work best on uh, 19 and a half volts, which is just fine. You may have noticed I said the uh, driver board is 12 volts. It's not exactly true. It can handle up to 50 volts, but on the my board's documentation, I set a nominal voltage of 25 volts max because I'm not really too sure about the thermal characteristics, but what I've, what I know is that uh, it's common for people to use it with uh, 24 volts. So uh, this, if you notice, this mess right here is the common anode. Uh, as you can see, I have a little thing wrapped around there. I've got to go out there and solder it up. I just wired that on late last night when I was testing the uh, the solenoids. Now these little solenoids, they'll pull back these little uh, really, really dense foam. It's like this stuff used to seal up these industrial freezers, Frost King stuff. And uh, you'll notice it'll pull back away from the hole behind it. On this side of it, the holes are pretty spaced evenly across here. They're on here, they're kind of bunched over to this side, despite there being more uh, solenoids. Some of these uh, solenoids have been sticky. I've got to clean their uh, pist I've got to clean their pistons. Uh, if you notice, there's electrical tape on here. I haven't currently found a better way to fasten uh, it to here. These uh, foam has its own adhesive and seems to bond well with electrical tape. 
I tried super glue, but it just created a uh, gloopy mess that never set. Uh, most of these solenoids are fine. There's just a few that are sticky. It's because of some adhesive residue. These little, um, these rails are made out of uh, three quarter inch uh, sugar pine and the backing is of course uh, Baltic birch, my old standby. See, I said these, this is, this, this rail is loose. I'll just hold it in place. That's the one that is uh, held in place by screws is this one right here. You'll notice there's the even holes I was talking about. And I have to restain this right here because I had to drill a countersink later on. Uh, if you noticed right here, I have some electrical tape as well. I was testing the seals on the box. I do need to go through with some hot glue seal up the corners. I do have to blob this a little bit down here because this section will, or wad something on there because that part of the weather stripping has got a pretty decent sized gap. I do need a blower. Um, I used to have one, but someone took it. Same with the, um, what you call it, the uh, copper tubing, because inside of these uh, holes, there's going to be a uh, quarter inch or uh, 5 16 inch copper tubing. I'm going to have to go to the store and get some. I had a whole bunch of it. I don't know where it and uh, then you'll, then I'll press this uh, clear vinyl tubing on the outside of it and run it to a copper tubing nozzle, which will blow on uh, these bottles over here. They're off the screen. I'll show you them in a second. What I've collected, I've got about uh, 13 of the uh, required 25 for my organ. Uh, I have a couple more but I've vetted so far the best ones that I've found uh, sonically. Some of them don't really register that well. So of the bottles I have, uh, first of all, I have quite a few of these uh, Peroni bottles. <clears throat> Seem to register very well. Uh, when I originally checked these bottles, I made a little nozzle out of a pen tube that I heated up with a lighter and spanned it with a screwdriver. Uh, to simulate a flattened out copper tube, which I will eventually use for the nozzles. I have this uh, uh, Lucky Buddha bottle. The local liquor store used to sell uh, a beers that came in these little Buddha bottles. It uh, sounds a little bit quieter, but it sounds okay. It does sound better on the upper ranks though if I tune it higher. Now, speaking of upper ranks, uh, you know, I'm going to use these medicine bottles. I've been asking some people if they had any uh, airplane bottles. And uh, yeah. this bottle I found out in the desert. It's a higher register bottle. I've got this little medicine bottle. It's got, it's got a grease in it. I think I'll have to clean it out. Oh, for the very lower ranks, I've got some of these big old liquor bottles. A Finlagen, it's a peat ma, it's a peat smoked whiskey bottle. Uh, it's very, th it's a very thick walled bottle. Not as thick as the one I'm about to show you, though. I've tested all these bottles with water, and uh, it's getting in the way. They sound pretty good. And this one has a really good sound, uh, the Tomatine Whiskey Bottle. Uh, very uh, rich uh, sound, it doesn't require high pressure. I really like that. I've got some of these uh, Trader Jose bottles. It's a... Uh, Similar to the Peroni, though I think the Peroni bottles have them um, better. Uh, this Grey Goose one, I've had mixed results depending on the register, but... Mm. It's 
really cool looking bottle, but I mean, its sound isn't so good on the lower register. Now I've got these little stubby uh, Modelo bottles. Really good sound, I like these. I've been looking for some more bottles, as I've explained before. I need smaller bottles uh, for the upper ranks. I've got my lower rank right up there. It's just need higher ranks bottles. Well, uh, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you then. Bye. Oh, you're still watching. Um, yeah, uh, I've been hit by the uh, demonetization plague that's been going around too but it's like the stoop some of the videos that got demonetized have been the dumbest reason I, even though they don't tell the reason I think I know why it might be the tags you see heat gun is one of the tags in that video and uh, yeah. I don't know maybe picked up on gun and assumed I was talking about firearm but Jesus Christ, YouTube. In uh, other news, I haven't really decided on what my major is going to be in college. I mean, what degree I'm shooting for. I have a couple options on what I want to do in the future. You know, my family's been pushing me to get a degree. And, you know, I one of the things I wanted to do, I want to teach English in Japan. I know that's... I mean, that's not my first option, but it's one of many. I don't really have a first option yet. I th think uh, that'd be something cool. And uh, if I do somehow make over, I have the time. <laughs> I might do a bit of uh, J-vlogging. Yeah, I'll figure it out soon.